After Christmas last year, I bought some foam gingerbread men that were heavily discounted at, I think, Joanne? And they've got some pre-cut glittery pieces and googly eyes to follow the picture on the package, but I drew up my own post-apocalyptic characters to turn three of these guys into. If you had the ambition, you could just trace your own gingerbread man pattern onto a blank sheet of foam, like this one here, and you can make an entire army just using this pack of cheap craft foam, which I'm going to use to cut out the armor and whatever else I need. If you can get the exact color of foam for the final product you want, that is a lot easier than trying to paint it later, which was a problem I ran into. To glue down the foam, I tried white glue, but it takes forever to dry. I also tried hot glue, but I don't have the restraint with the glue gun not to end up with a ton of extra hot glue and wisps everywhere. So I went with super glue and accelerant to keep this project moving along as quickly as possible. And I also use clay sculpting tools to press down the foam to keep from gluing my fingers together. I also use some 3D fabric paint to act as icing. Again, if you can get the exact color you want, it's going to save you the hassle of trying to paint it later. I'm trying to get a ski mask texture on the face and we'll have to do a second pass once it's dry. Because this fabric paint also shrinks quite a bit when it dries, so either you have to pile it on or go in steps to build up the dimension. And yeah, I'm going to basically just cut more armor out and clothing and super glue it into place. I want to give these characters a scrapyard thrown together kind of feel so the armor isn't always symmetrical like one shoulder pad will look different than the other. Never go into battle without a helmet. And of course that helmet has to have horns. I layer rectangles of foam on top of each other to look like chain. And I make a second pass with 3D paint on that ski mask. These gingerbread heroes of the post-apocalyptic wasteland need some monsters to fight, so I've got these smaller foam cutouts. I make this guy's arm a bit more monstrous and start to make the head a bit toothier. The round eyes were made with a cheap hole punch. And here's the whole gang of monsters. The Cthulhu one doesn't really fit with the others, but I still like it. So painting these was an aggravating process. If I just used the color of foam and 3D paint I wanted in the first place, I could have been done right here and probably had this video up by Christmas. Oh well. It took two or three coats to get a solid color on the foam, and on top of that, the foam takes a bit more time to dry. I went over some pieces with the 3D paint again, but with the correct color this time. And I ended up going back and forth with a lot of paints to paint back in the brown of the gingerbread. Yeah, it was a mess. But with a little bit of patience, I completed this project, and now I have three battle-ready gingerbread men ready to reclaim the North Pole from these little gremlins that have torn the holidays asunder. Or whatever. This project was rushed, but I wanted to do something fun to close out the year, which I do have a ton of stuff planned for 2021, so stick around if you want to check out what I have in store, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. 
help feed that algorithm, and power bomb the like button right on the apron. Second hardest part of the rink. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.